Well, this is an absolute red letter day because we know what a great snooker player this guy is, but we are finally, after so many years of hearing about the angry farmer and Dave Gilbert's tractor driving abilities, we're finally out with him on the roads in the beautiful countryside around Derbyshire. Uh, Dave, this thing is an absolute beast. What is this? Oh. I think it's a, it's a JCB fast track. My brother's kindly not only supplied us a tractor to have a little play with today, this is like an absolute beast. Quite, yeah, this is a, a, a special one. It's got lots of power, very big and uh, very fast on the road, I think. Did you, did you grow up in farming? Because I know there was a lot of banter about you doing potato farming when you were first you know, making your way as a full-time player, but have you grown up around this rural life? Yeah, my, my dad was obviously been a farmer all his life, so we'd always go to the farm to see him working, drop his sarnies off and things like that when we were kids, sit on the combine with him on weekends. Obviously my brother, he's been, he, he took, it's all he wanted to be a farmer, so he's done that from a, a young age. And obviously I was the black sheep of the family and wanted to do something else, but uh, I ended up having to go anyway. Was, was there a time where you thought you would end up being a full-time farmer? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, when I ended up working on the farm, it was, um, you know, I was really str struggling. I had no money in my pocket. Snooker was terrible. I weren't really bothered about that. So, uh, yeah, my dad gave me a ring, said he could uh, get me a bit of part-time work at the farm. Rob Gray's in Whittington was the first farm I worked at. Couldn't drive a tractor, didn't have a clue what I was doing. Well, Rob was a great boss, he gave, he gave, uh, gave me a job and uh, you know, he was very patient with me because these things are a bit scary when you've never driven one before. Uh, I, I loved it, you know, the hours were long, you couldn't spend the money you earned because you were just permanently at work, but uh, yeah, really sorted myself out and then I moved to another farm, Davidson's in Lullington. So uh, yeah, uh, I do miss it now and again, but I'm not ready to go back to it just yet. Do you think a lot of people underestimate how hard farming is yeah, yeah yeah it's mega hours very lonely obviously you know I should imagine if you got a family at home I was single bloke back then so, uh, but if you had a family I'm sure it's really hard you know the the busiest times of year of the year the summer when the sun's out everybody wants to be out enjoying themselves that ain't the life of a farmer farmers are a different breed to most folk you know they they love to work whereas I, I work to live you know so it's a bit different for me and are you someone, as a result of having done the farming and grown up with your dad, are you someone who really loves rural landscapes? Like for me, I'm, I'm much more comfortable around fields. I think there's a natural beauty to this environment. Are you the same? Yeah, absolutely. I'd much rather be in the countryside than the city. I love going to cities for a, a day or two maybe, but I'd uh, much rather be out in the sticks, definitely. You know, it's nice and peaceful and chilled, isn't it? And when you were farming, what were you actually, what, were you actually doing in the tractor? Were you harvesting or a bit of everything? Uh, yeah, I started off, I'd be um, tractor in a trailer, just catching the potatoes off the harvester. So I'd literally just be driving up and down the road non-stop all day, uh, dropping off the spuds back at the farm. Um, so it's like, that's where you start, that's like your apprenticeship kind of thing. And then, you know, I ended up having to go on the, the plough and the field work, like, like you probably see as you drive past. So. You know, I started at the bottom. Uh, I wouldn't say I got to the top. I never had to go in a combine or anything like that. But uh, yeah, no, uh, I really enjoyed it. It was quite, it was good fun. Those, those combine harvesters, I've only been in them a couple of times. They're absolute, absolute beasts. And look, around my way, there's a lot of farming and all the farmers say that Clarkson's program has been brilliant for lifting the lid on some of the myths around farming. What's your take on that, if you've seen it? Yeah, I just thought it was good value because obviously he was pretty clueless to what he's doing, but he was honest and open about that. Uh, but he obviously he obviously loves the land and, and wants to help him and improve things for the farmers. He appreciates how hard they work and, and how tight the money is. Uh, but it was a good fun program too, wasn't it? You know, he's good value whether you like him or hate him. He's always good to watch. I I really warmed to him through that program. I, I didn't I didn't particularly enjoy. You know, I, I wasn't sure about him. You know, from from an ego point of view, with the with yeah. the car programs. But I, like you, I thought he absolutely loved the land. And one of the things he alludes to in that program, quite honestly and brutally, I suppose, he he kind of 
gives an indication that perhaps it's going to get really difficult for farmers and quite a few of them might end up going out of business. Do you, as you've got a sort of a feel for farming, do you think it's getting harder for farmers to make a living? Ah, uh, I should imagine it's really tough, you know, the price of fuel and and everything else, the, the fights they're having with Europe and all that malarkey, you know, I, I wouldn't say I know too much about it, but um, I, I get how hard it is to work and if you're only working for such long hours for small margins, I totally what understand why like third and fourth generation farmers are just s selling up and uh, going in for building and things like that you know uh, that seems to be the way that many are going and this this thing we're, we're on we're on some rural roads here trying to turn around somewhere it's a bit big this thing <laughs> well, it, find it's, a spot. <laughs> it's massive like how are you able well, i suppose you just get used to it you're judging this is so much wider than a normal car you're at a different elevation does it take a long time to feel comfortable driving these things? Yeah, this is an absolute monster, let me tell you. I wish you got me, you should have got me a small, something a bit smaller, but <laughs> what you have to remember driving these things is the cars are more scared of you than you are them, so they, they will move over eventually. <laughs> Hold on, boys. Right, we'll try and turn around here. Oh, it's a bit touchy, this gearbox. <laughs> I'm sure uh, we're driving. We'll get used to it. Yeah, the, the I used to drive John Deere's. They're a lot, well, not much smaller, but certainly the gearbox was different. This is a bit touchy. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it just looks like an absolute monster. He could have washed it, couldn't he? Oh my God. Here we go. I, I hadn't realised how high off the ground you are yeah, at, at the driving cool. level. Do you want to go? Get your how you drive when we get back to the yard? You, you drive it up that track. All right, you'll appreciate how touchy this. I movie. don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do it on the main yeah. road. <laughs> they always move out of the way. I've been in some interesting scraps on the road. A bus hit me once. A bus. I, I tipped a trailer. Yeah, I've done a what, few. Was things. it full of potatoes? Yeah, it was full. How how long did it take you to pick them all up? Uh, it's not too long because they just come out with a loader and scoop them up in a couple of goes, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's just, yeah. yeah, I've seen a few accidents. My brother's had loads of bad accidents. Well, the lads that work for him. It's quite... Um, too big now. They're it's too quite big and dangerous, fast. Like, it? 20 years ago, they only did 50, 18, 20 miles an hour. Now they're doing like 50. It's a big thing to stop. That's the bloody problem with them. Yeah. Do you think... I know you've got the snooker club now, but... When you, because you do love the rural life, do you think that when you have eventually retired as a player, could you see yourself going back to farming? Uh, I don't know, you know, it's, I'd hope not, I'd hope not, because like I've got a little girl now, so yeah. the, the hours are just too long and, um, you know, I appreciate how hard my dad used to work and, and why I'd never seen him, because uh, obviously the money's not the greatest to pay, you have to do big hours to, to earn the money, you know. So I, I, I kind of, I'm not scared of working when it comes or if I have to, that's for sure. But uh, no, I don't think I'm ready for farming again. The good months of the year in Britain, the summer, is when you sat on these things the most. I don't want to do that. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I, I tell you what, it's a good job the air conditioning is so good in these things. It, it's incredibly efficient because if it wasn't, You'd absolutely cook on a day like this, wouldn't you? Oh, you wouldn't want to sat on them 30 years ago, would you? No, greenhouse, isn't it? It's a great view, but yeah, there's a lot of glass Bloody to green. absorb that um, Bloody green that house. sun. No, they're pretty comfy nowadays. It's probably, is it really rough in that seat? You bounce no, the bounce It's all right. This thing, I'm hardly moving. No, it's all right, actually. The suspension's pretty good. Yeah, it was a bit more bouncy years ago. Diddly squat. That's where we should go. Yeah, we should go and buy some beers from there. It's made farming cool, hasn't it? Because everyone watched it. Oh, it's, and how and how brilliant is Caleb? Caleb yeah, yeah. for me is like as big a star in that show as Clarkson. Gerald for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but he's a geezer. You cannot understand a word that man says. It'd be good fun working with him. <laughs> Maybe every farm has got a Gerald-esque character. Oh, they have. They definitely have. I definitely have. Seen a few characters. 
what, what I liked about when, I, when, when you first saw Caleb, what I liked about him was he could name every single one of the fields. And Clarkson was just looking at a bit of paper. Yeah, to him, yeah. it was just like a patchwork quilt. And honestly, that, that's how they all are, these gaffers. Well, there's none of this sat-nav stuff. They don't work on that. It's down here, remember that lane, da 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 Because we had, we'd have like two hour runs. I wouldn't have a clue where I was going. You just hope you ended up somewhere, you know what I mean? So, they, so, so they've got quite, they've got really intricate levels of knowledge of the land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, it's all they've done, isn't it? So they love it. Oof. They learn it off the dads. It's all passed down, isn't it? Lucky people, really. It's not a bad life. My brother absolutely loves it. We're never going to get out of here, boys. Hmm. Are you quite um, similar to your brother, or are you very different in character? Oh no, we're the complete opposites. Um, he like he just like uh, works to lives to work basically, and I'm complete opposite. Obviously, I like a drink and going out partying. He does none of that, you know. Um, so he, he he's, he's a very hard grafter. He, he's, you know, he's done really well for himself, and uh, fair play to him. So, because you're so different, were you, were you the kind? Of, I don't have a brother, so I, I can't sort of compare. But did you, um, did you clash a lot as kids, or yeah, the fact that you were different yeah. meant that you actually gave each other a lot of space? No, we, ne we never really got on at all. Uh, it was only until like four, five, six years ago, where we. Um, actually started getting on you know he always thought I was a bit of a bum because I never worked or did any, did a proper job he'd say uh, a bit like my dad and then uh, you know I carried on my snooker started doing okay and he obviously seen that I was popping up on telly now and again then he come to watch it like the crews for the masters and he I think he realized oh he's actually tried to do something here you know what I mean and and sees sees the what I walk you know he's seen me play in the biggest arenas the masters for the yeah. German masters he'd come to he's been All to the right. alley pally and uh, the Crucible. So he's seen, I mean, I didn't win there. Well, the, the, the big moments, isn't there? Any, you, you know, that anybody that's walked into them kind of arenas in them one taste, so it was pretty special. So do you reckon, did he, once he'd been and sort of seen that pressure with his own eyes rather than watching it on TV, he probably had a much better understanding of, um, of how hard how hard an environment in which you're trying to succeed yeah 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 i i think so i think he finally you know i think something probably clicked with him hold on a minute he's actually probably put a lot of effort into this at some point you know what i mean uh so now we actually we've got a decent relationship now which is which is good it's a shame uh it's a shame we took us 35 years to, to be that way oh look better, <laughs> better late than never yeah definitely definitely you having a go I'm, I'm nervous because I know oh, how much right. this thing's worth. Right, now you'll be fine. It's dead easy. Uh, so is, is so he said it's it. Right, there we go. There we go. Hang on, Paul. Your mic's coming. Oh, God. Did you get it? Has it just come out? Yeah, yeah, just come out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's very bouncy. Put it. It's oh, like yeah. riding a horse. Uh, in there. Right, so pull it down to you where it's comfy. Yeah, about there. Comfy-ish, we'll be all right. Yeah. Go. Click it. Uh, there's another button to knock it off. Is that that one? Because that's not going to be very comfy. You're mega tall, isn't you? Damn, let's go down. I take it we're not worried about all these joysticks. No. <laughs> what are they actually? They're probably oh, not mate. called joysticks. There's too many bloody buttons in here. Where's down? How, how uncomfortable is that for you, Rob? No, it's all right. We can make that work. Right, so foot on brake. Foot on your brake. Push that orange one down. Hold it down, the, the orange one. Oh, oh yeah. The screen. Push it, it down. Put, yeah, push it down. Forward, that's it. Hold it down. It'll be, 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 be. Get it into forward. Push that up. Oh. Don't need your clutch. Oh. Your clutch. Push it forward. Off. Right. That's it. Let go of that. Press your rever. And then we should go. Yeah, it's a bit touchy, this rever. Oh, yes. There you go, you're away. Oh, I'm driving a tractor <laughs> for the first time at the age of 47. We'll have to start our own Clarkson's farm. Walker's farm. Oh yeah, it's very reactive. It's a bit touchy, yeah, it's a bit funny that thing. They're all automatic now, I used to have a gear stick. Old knackers I was on, I'm coming back. This is quite good fun actually. <laughs> for obviously for five minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, round to the left. Yeah, go to the yeah, left. Yeah. 
Oh, this is cool. This oh, is cool. Should have took this down the A38 and seen how fast she, she really <laughs> went. It is. It is an absolute beast. Now I don't want to show off. You do, mate. You've drove one before, mate. Too casual. Anyone that ain't driven one before is all over the gap. You've had a go, in not I haven't. I'm serious. This is the first time I've ever. I've been in tractors when. My, my son worships this guy called Farmer Simon, who's, right, who's right. Fr his, his wife's friends with my wife. So yeah. Farmer Simon's like the, the god. Yeah. So I've sat in the, the cab with Arthur and Farmer Simon, but never um, never driven one. So if you just go past his house so a car can get there, it'll be all right. Your, your brother's going to be looking at me going, what is yeah, he doing in my... Right. To the left, mate. That's it. Stick it where we was before. There's loads of room, isn't there? Yeah. And when you stop it, just, just stop, just take your foot off the accelerator. Oh, hang on, hang on, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's a dead touchy, isn't it? Very touchy. Oh, oh, oh. So if you That'll take do. it off, yeah. pull, your, pull your foot on your brake, pull the brake back, it'll go neutral. There we go. And how do you turn it turn off? Turn the key off. Uh, the key. Where's the key? Just around the back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. absolutely brilliant. The farmers now. In there. the cab with Dave G. <laughs> Unbelievable, the rural life for us, that is for sure.